Sumatra, Indonesia's second most populous island. There are 42 million voters up for grabs in Sumatra. That's 21% of the total number of eligible voters nationally. All three candidates vying for the presidency have been campaigning heavily in the island. Analysts say how people feel about the current government's programs, incentive, and infrastructure drive is key to understanding how voters in Sumatra will behave. Since Joko Widodo, better known as Jokowi, became president in 2014, Sumatra has seen massive infrastructure development projects. There are now new airports, train networks, and over 1,000 kilometers of new toll roads, which nearly cover the entire length of Sumatra. This is why the president's approval rating is high in Indonesia, especially in Sumatra. Tingkat kesukaan uh, apa? Uh, rakyat Indonesia terhadap Pak Jokowi itu, Presiden Jokowi itu kan di kisaran 80 persen. Nah, uh, sekarang apakah uh, dengan demikian uh, approval rate-nya Pak Jokowi akan serta-merta uh, apa namanya dapat diarahkan kepada kandidat yang didukung Pak Jokowi ya? Saya kira pasti ada pengaruhnya. Semua orang milih Jokowi, makanya kalau nanti Jokowi nggak duduk lagi kayaknya masyarakat-masyarakat kayaknya merasa resah, merasa nggak enak gitu. Mudah-mudahan nanti yang mau ke depan ini bisa meniru kayak bakatnya Bapak Jokowi. But not everyone is benefiting from these infrastructure developments, and as a result, there are areas where satisfaction towards the president is low. banyak bilang banyak terpuruk di sini Pak jadinya gitu. Entah karena apa nggak tahu lah pokoknya kok kan ini mau ganti kok bisa ya gantilah gitu gimana. Jokowi is barred by Indonesia's constitution from seeking a third term in office in the February 14 presidential election. This year Indonesia has three candidates, Anies Baswedan who is supported by opposition parties and has been promising a change to how the country is run. Prabowo Subianto, a retired general who has named Jokowi's eldest son, Gibran Raka Buming Raka, as his running mate, and Ganjar Panowo, who many say has a similar leadership style and vision as Mr. Jokowi. So who will the people of Sumatra vote for? Will they vote for candidates who promise to continue Jokowi's policies and programs? Or will they vote for an opposition figure? We'll just have to wait until Valentine's Day when Indonesians hit the polls.